Hello everyone, I'm sorry I'm late, it's been a rather heavy day, but I appreciate you joining me despite that. The key events on day 12 then, in high definition. Shimano Umi, one of two men leading the top division title race, clashed with Ryuden, just one win behind, in a match perhaps crucial to determining the final destination of the Emperor's Cup. Here's what happened. He was going for the inside left, was Shima's post-match analysis, and I just wanted to beat him in the race for the inside grip. I hope the video clearly shows how good his all-round defensive sumo was. Not only did Shima keep that right hand firmly on Ryuden's shoulder, but nullified his opponent's right on several occasions, before destabilizing him with an awesome inside left of his own. That's 11 and 1 for the Kise Stableman. And on Friday, he will be up against fellow leader Takakesho, who made short work of Takara Fuji in today's final match. That was the Ozeki's 49th win of this year, and puts him above the injured Shodai in first place. Asked how he feels about his match with Shimano Umi, having lost to his identically ranked stablemate Tokushoryu when it mattered in January, Takakesho replied, if I'm strong enough, I will win. If I'm weak, I'll lose. As ever, he's prepared to be harsh with himself. After he lost his third match in a row to Takayasu yesterday, NHK pundit Mainomi criticized Mitake Umi's concentration, while an NHK dressing room reporter confirmed he was dragging his right foot slightly. Last tournament, Mitake beat Tedonofuji in much the same way Takayasu did on Monday. Today, hardly anyone was holding out hope of a repeat. I'm just focusing on 11 wins right now, said a completely dominant Teru, who faces Takano Sho in his next match. The 10 wins I've posted so far are the fruits of my hard training. Now, can I again give special praise to Hokuto Fuji and add my hope that he's in line for a Fighting Spirit Award? I just can't believe how deep his energy reserves are this time. Exhibit C, today's bout with Tochinoshin. Did you think, as I did, that he was done for once Tochi took hold of his belt? Look, I certainly didn't plan a belt battle with Tochi Noshin, the man himself confessed. But I hung in there until I could reform a good stance. Okay, I'd be lying if I said fatigue wasn't kicking in. And that's why I'm making time twice a day to care for my aches and pains. We also have a quote from defeated Tochi Noshin. I got the right inside, but it was a mistake to try for the inside instead of an outside left. I should have held out more myself. That's Hokuto's eighth win. Give him that prize. And Hokuto Fuji's key rival in university, Ura, is now amazingly in the joint lead of the second division title race after posting his eighth win today against Kyoko Taisei. Here's how he did that.
Look at how beautifully Urai uses that right leg as a launch pad for basically a second Tachi Ai. That's how to draw someone in and lower your stance without their noticing. All I can say is, I'm happy, said the comeback prince, assuming Terunofuji is the comeback king. But I can't just assume I'm good enough just because I got eight wins. I need more raw power for starters. True, I do have more confidence in my body now than when I was in Division 1 three years ago, but there's no way I can outdo the fighter I used to be. Now it's just about compensating for the injuries with extra training. Whatever happens now, though, he's staying up. And one imagines before too long he will be joined at that level by Takano Iwa's nephew Hokutenkai of Division 3. My apologies, in a recent post I suggested he was unbeaten. He was actually 4 and 1 going into this bout with Tochimaru today. Who needs a belt hold when you can thrust like that? His final match will be against Muscleman Roga tomorrow afternoon. He's also 5-1, and one, which means, sadly, neither of the two men can gain promotion tomorrow, but the winner gets the higher rank next time. There's plenty riding on it, and I'll be sure to bring you that match right here. See you then.